Hi. So I think I'm live everywhere. I am doing a double broadcast tonight, you guys. We're going to try this. Um, so I am live on Instagram on my phone and I'm live on Facebook over here. So hey, and there's James. Hey, buddy. Um, and Davina. Hello, hello, hello. All right, you guys know the drill. I need to share, share, share. Sorry, Instagram people. I need to move my phone for just a second so I can see what I'm doing. All right, let's find my video. How is everybody tonight? Hopefully well. We mute everything so that I, <laughs> so I don't uh, hopping around. Hey Tracy, hey Colleen. Davina is great. I love that. Yay. My hubby just popped in. Okay, I'm going to share share because i care about my feels um james yeah you can go live on instagram um yep <laughs> so my phone's over here and facebook on my computer is over here so i'm getting fancy with it tonight you guys um yeah everybody who's here if you want to go share this video with people that would be awesome the more people we have around the um, more fun it is so that's cool you know the drill the first like 10 minutes of every live stream is people just sharing their video everywhere james is on instagram davina that's why you can't see him he is watching me over on instagram over here on my phone so I am doing a double broadcast tonight, you guys. I am live here on Facebook, and I'm also live on my um, Instagram page. So if you don't follow me over there, you can look that up later. There's, um, I think there's a link on my on my page here. I would have to look. I just don't remember. Sharing, sharing, sharing. So sorry I missed you guys yesterday. I was not feeling that great. Um, nothing serious. Just wasn't feeling that feeling that good, wasn't feeling that into it. So I just skipped. But postponed, right? We're talking about Archangel. Shamuel tonight. Hey, Stephanie. Um, James, Davina says, hey. A <laughs> um, couple more, you guys, and I am done. Sorry. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we have shared. We are everywhere. Uh, Davina James says he's hiding. He's hiding on Instagram. Okay, so Archangel Shamuel tonight. Does anybody know anything about Archangel Shamuel? Just wondering if you do. Definitely let me know. I'm already getting hot, you guys. <laughs> oh, the angels are here. Angels are here. Okay, so Archangel Shamuel. Let's get started with that. Let me find my notes. Okay, Archangel Shamuel. His name means he who sees God. Um, he comes in in a pale green color. So kind of almost like um, like a lime green, but it's 
I think of it as more like see-through, I don't know, um, but more of a lime green, so like a lighter green. Raphael is that real dark, like emerald green, and Chamberlain is a lighter green. Um, now, Chamberlain is, um, <clears throat> sorry about the balancing, he is positioned at a very high level. So he sees God, right? That's his, what his name means. Um, and so he is thought to be positioned at a very high level for in the angel kind of hierarchy. Um, and um, but he's super down to earth and super chill. Um, he, to me, it is very sweet and gentle. Like he is, I don't know, he kind of reminds me a lot of my husband, right? He's very sweet, very kind, very chill, just very whatever man, you know, <laughs> like he can roll with it. Um, and that makes it a lot of fun to deal with him <laughs> because he's just so chill. Um, so his specialties, so he has omniscient vision, which just means that he can see everything, see through everything, sees the connection between everyone and everything, um, which is pretty cool, which is pretty cool. Um, his mission is to bring universal peace by helping each individual maintain their inner peace, even in the tough times. So that was awful. Basically, um, he's, start, he's bringing about universal peace by starting with the individuals. So he works with each individual to find the inner peace that they need, um, which in turn, you know, if we all have inner peace, then that's going to make universal peace, right? Because there's going to be no fighting, there's going to be no need for um, any of that. So um, when you're feeling like you need some inner peace or some help with inner peace, uh, Shamuel is a really good archangel to call on for some support and some help. Um, he helps us remain at peace, right? So, um, like I said, when we're feeling like life is a little turbulent and things are going a little bit sideways, um, calling on Shamuel can be a great comfort for us and he can be a really, a really big help. So, that's awesome. Hey, everybody who's coming in. Also, I wanted to let you know if you're watching us from another group um, that it was shared in. Um, the only way I'll be able to read your comments is if you pop on over to the original video, which is on my Melissa Murphy page, my public profile page, um, and talk to us on that video. I will be able to see your comments on the other videos later, but not while I'm live. So, um, there. <laughs> there's that. Hey, everybody that popped in while I was talking. Okay, we're talking about Archangel Samuel tonight. Um, and if you miss some, you can come back and watch the replay. All right. <clears throat> Samuel also um, is the angel. He's kind of the detective angel. He helps us find things that are missing. So if you've lost something, even if it's something as crazy or as simple as your like reading glasses or your car keys, um, you can ask Archangel Samuel to come in and help uh, bring it back and help or help you uh, lead you to the place where they are. So if you're missing some stuff, uh, he's a good guy to, to ask for help because uh, he can see everything, right? He can see every missing item um, and he also can see the solution to every problem. So if you have a problem um, that you need to find a solution for, so the finding angel, right? That's kind of, some people refer to him as the finding angel. So if you need to find like actual literal things, like your car keys or um, something like that, he can help. But also if you need to find a solution for a problem that you're having, um, he can also help with that. So definitely call on him when you need to find, think of Samuel as the finding angel. He finds things for you. Um, let's see, he can, oh, I mean, a note. he can find, uh, help find anything, car keys, glasses, crystal friends that go missing because those little stinkers like to hide sometimes. 
uh, he can even help you find like a new home or um, the right love for you or new job, any of that stuff. So um, any of those things kind of gives you a clue to, uh, who you should call on when you need and stuff like that. Um, as long as it's in alignment with your higher self, of course. So if we ask for, you know, we're coveting a new home or there's a new job that we want or something, but it's not in our highest good um, or for the highest good of us or, you know, everyone, um, then, then it won't happen. It doesn't matter who we have helping us. Um, you know, everything, divine order, right? Everything has to be for the greater good of all. Um, and particularly for us in our own story. So, like I said, if we're meant to have a job and it um, <clears throat> helps fulfill our life purpose, then, then that will be something that we can um, accomplish. If not, then it wasn't meant to be, and there's something else that we're supposed to be doing. So everybody's saying Shamuel is going to be their new friend. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure, he's one that kind of gets forgotten about. The other thing that you can do with Shamuel is, um, <clears throat> he's kind of like an angel GPS, right? So if we're lost, literally lost somewhere, not just metaphorically, but literally lost, um, and we need help getting somewhere, right? Um, especially like if we're in a not so great neighborhood and we need to kind of get out of there and find where we're supposed to be. Um, you can call on Samuel X and to please help you, help guide you um, out of the situation and like where you should be. Um, and then it's really important that you just go with your gut and really listen to your intuition as far as turn left, turn right straight those kinds of things um don't second guess it like if you feel like you come into a corner and you're like i should turn right here then turn right um because those are the your angels and guides trying to talk with you um specifically shamuel can help be an angelic gps for us when we're lost um if we don't have our actual gps's now as we pretty much always tend to do in these this day and age but um yeah, so if you feel lost and you're kind of afraid or whatever, you can call on him and he can help. Um, he can help. Uh, Tracy, he can help you find anything. If you're looking for happiness, then he can help that as well. Um, ask him to stay with you. Um, and ask him to help you with that, but then you're going to need to listen. Um, he's going to give you the answers, but you're going to need to... Um, listen for them. You're going to need to use your intuition. And uh, if you're getting, you know, weird ideas or um, seem weird to you or whatever, um, write them down, write them down and act on them because that's where most of us kind of fall short. We ask spirit and angels and archangels and divine and God and whatever you want to call everybody. But um, we ask those questions, but then we 100% forget to listen for the answers a lot of the time. So they can help us if we don't listen. So there's that. Anyway, did anybody have any experiences with Shamuel or worked with Shamuel before? He's not as well known as some of the others. Um, we've gone through a lot of the really popular guys. Now we're getting into some of the lesser known archangels, which I think is really fun. We get to let people know about some new people. Hey, Tish, how are you? How are you in a few minutes? We'll get to the readings, okay? Just finishing up with this part. Yeah. Um, one more thing. Make sure. Yep, we got it all. Hey, Kathy. Stephanie, you've worked with Shamuel in the angelic chakra integration. Yeah. Which chakra do you know? I guess I don't really know. I know that each angel is sort of associated with a specific chakra, but 
Stephanie, if you know that, let me know for Shemuel. I don't know that. That's one thing I don't know about angels. I just, those are two kind of separate things for me. Um, Tish, sacral chakra. Thank you, Stephanie. Shemuel is a sacral chakra guy. So helping with that creativity, um, finding those ideas. Uh, Tish wants to get more into angels. Do they contact you or do you ask? Both. <laughs> um, both. But ask. For sure ask. Um, for me, they literally just turned into like little stalkers. And um, what happened was I was trying to get into mediumship. I, I am a medium. I do talk to those who, who have crossed. But... Um, but when I would specifically sit down and try to have like a mediumship session with somebody, um, angels would show up and it was, that always happened. Um, every time I had a client, no matter what kind of session we were trying to have, it would always turn into an angel session. So, um, <laughs> they, and they legitimately just kept showing up and they would literally kind of like elbow everybody else out of the way and just be like, nope, you're talking to me and only me. Um, both archangels and guardian angels. So it just turned out that that was the path that I went down. That the angels were like, nope, you're talking to us. Okay. <laughs> um, I, like I said, I am a medium. I can talk to um, crossover loved ones, but. But for me, 98% of the time, angels will show up. And uh, your loved ones might be there as well, but the angels, you do most of the talking. So, but Tish, anybody can talk to them. Um, ask. Angels need permission to intervene in our lives. Um, especially if you want them to be more present in your life, definitely ask for them to show up and um, they will. And, you know, the, anytime we call on angels at all, um, whether it's archangels or guardian angels, all you have to do is think the thought, like um, that you want them to be there with you and they will be there. Easily. So angels are very eager to help. They, they want us to call on them and they want us to ask for help, but um, let's, let's forget. So, <laughs> hello everyone that just popped in there. How's it going? We are just finishing up talking about angels and Archangel Shamuel. Um, if you missed Shamuel, uh, go back and you can watch the replay. It'll be here when we are done. Also on Instagram. So. Uh, for 24 hours, I think it's the only, <laughs> they'll only keep it for 24 hours. Yeah. You're welcome, Tish. Yeah, I'm excited for you to work with angels and have them in there with your crystals. You're going to be all amped up on energy, girl. <laughs> Got all those crystals everywhere. And then she calls the angels in. She'll be like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie said they're always having me remind people to ask for their help. Exactly. They're they're kind of pushy sometimes. I mean, really, because they're like, dude, we're here. <laughs> Why don't you little humans ever ask us to help you? <laughs> um, or the other problem is we do ask, then we absolutely forget to listen for the answer. So that I'm sure they're angels, so they don't get frustrated. But to me, that would be persistent, yes. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Um, okay. So, guys, I spent the last couple of hours, I just, side note, working on slides for my parenting class. So excited. I was doing the slides about um, Crystal and Rainbow and Indigo kids. So, kind of fun. I'm excited about this class, you guys. It's done. I'm just finishing up the slides and then... Uh, I think I'm going to do a narration. I'm gonna, I've never done that before. I don't know how hard it is. I've never tried it. So we'll see how frustrated I get with that process. Uh, um, let's see. You're welcome, Stephanie and everybody else. I'm so glad you're learning things, Jade. That's awesome. 
That's my niece's name, by the way, Jade. It's spelled a little different, but just made me think of my cute little three-year-old niece. Narration, I can do it. I've never done it. I'm using PowerPoint. Um, and I see that there's a button, but I've never pushed the button and I've never tried it. I've made slideshows, but I've never done narration on PowerPoint specifically. I've done, you know, videos and stuff, but I'm hoping it's an easy process. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, Stephanie's done it well. You may or may not be better at this than me. <laughs> uh, a crystal bus? Wait, what? What is this magic you're talking about? Like an actual bus? Like a, like a bus? Yeah, Stephanie, that's what I was going to do. Like go slide by slide and yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've just never done it. I might have to like YouTube a tutorial because... I get frustrated when I can't figure things out. Thank you, Tish. I'm super excited about my class. Um, depending on how long it takes me to finish these slides slash narrate, narrate them uh, a couple weeks, and we'll be pushing that out to the public, which I'm super excited about. And then Spirit, um, I was talking to Ruchi earlier. She, <laughs> Spirit has been giving us both uh, a lot of assignments. Um, my list is getting very long for things that I have to I have to finish. Ugh, all right. So, uh, you guys ready for some readings? You guys ready for some readings? Um, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. We're about right at the halfway mark. So, um, yeah. if you guys, uh, okay. So for everybody that wants a reading, um, post, okay. So I tend to stick with career, uh, finances and relationships. Um, I don't like to get into health. Um, and I don't like to get too deep into things on a public, uh, forum just because it's personal. So if you need a more personal reading, we can totally um, accomplish that, but we just need to make a schedule a private reading. So let me know if you want one, um, but just one of those words, career, finance, or relationships. And if you have a specific question and that you're not afraid to ask in public, please do so. Uh, the more specific the question, the um more specific your reading will be james has a question what's up love? by the way james love you thanks for doing a card for me earlier okay rich shells at work sneaky sneaky naughty <laughs> that's all right yes james okay so his question is would an angel save you from a traumatic event even if uh you didn't per se believe in them okay so here's what happens um they will step in to intervene in a situation where we are in trouble, but only if that's in our life path. If we had it in our contract to pass from an event like that, like that's how we were supposed to go out, um, they will allow it to happen. Um, if it's not in our life contract, that this is the end of things, they will intervene and uh, help. With those situations whether we ask them to or not if it's life-threatening um, or something that totally goes against our life plan then they will they will absolutely step in and help regardless of um, if we believe in them or if we ask them to or not um, like I said if it's in our kind of life path and in our contract and like in our story that we're supposed to go out in a blaze of glory like that then they will um, they will, they will let it happen. That's how we planned it to be. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Hello, everybody that's joining in. Okay, let's go. Let's do some readings. Let's rock and roll. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I've got like four things going on here, you guys. I've got Instagram going on. I've got um, 
the screen, but then I have to like click to like not my live <laughs> window, but another window to be able to read comments because I'm using my phone for Instagram. I don't know. I might not do this again. <laughs> it's fun though. Okay. Let's see. Jade, your mom had a thing for odd spelling. Hey, that's okay. I kind of did that to my kids. Um, my kids have kind of common names, but we did spell them a little bit funny. A couple of them. The other ones are pretty traditional. Let's see. Okay, Tish wants to know what's a business reading. And I am going to use my cards tonight. Oh, you guys, I totally forgot. I'm up for doing um, guardian angel names. If anybody wants those, you can also ask for that. Um, so <laughs> if you want that or any of the other um, any of the other things that I mentioned, totally put that in there. Um, the angels were getting on my case earlier about not, not doing guardian angel names the last couple of times. So, <laughs> so we'll do it. Um, I tend to only do these kind of when we're when I'm alone, not when I'm doing like double readings or triple readings or whatever with my friends, just because those messages can get kind of long sometimes. I forget who I'm doing, you guys. Oh yeah, Tish, my business. Tish, how many read for your business before? It's okay. We can do it again. Tish. One more, they said. This is a super appropriate card for Tish. Okay, so yeah, Davina wants me to hold it over here. Ten of Earth, Tish, and um, here, hold on. Sorry, the Earth. Now you guys can see that pretty little angel. Um, okay, so but I can't read it. Got lights all over. All right, Ten of Earth. So this is um it talks about financial security and finding the magic in the little things in life i feel like that is super appropriate for tish because she works with crystals you guys and she not only does she work with crystals but she magnifies crystals right so she looks at the tiny little details on the crystals um and it's funny that it talks about um, finding the magic in the little things Quite literally, that's what she does. Um, but yeah, Tish, I think this is going to be amazing. Your business is about to take off. Um, and um, I'm hearing that they're giving you projects. Um, maybe a lot of them. Are they giving you a lot of them? Um, I feel like they are. And I feel like that they, they're wanting you to, okay, so here's what they're saying. They want you to make a list. They want you to prioritize your list of projects or um, programs or classes or whatever it is that you're getting. And um, they want you to, like I said, make a list and then go down the list and have them help you uh, prioritize the things on your list. So uh, which thing needs to go first? They're going to point at it or tell you and then you put a big one by it um and so on down the line okay uh, which thing can come second and then they're going to tell you um go down the line so do that make your list um and they're going to help you sort out that so you're not getting confused with everything okay okay stephanie wants finances and the Aries want to play with you tonight, Stephanie. Um, they are all about manifesting and finances. So let's talk to the fairies. They're going, me, me, me.
One more. <laughs> okay, so Stephanie, um, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. And there's for Instagram, trust your intuition. Um, yeah, I mean, I really don't feel like I need to say very much more, but trust your intuition. Um, I feel like this is definitely related to your business. Obviously, that's related to your finances, right? Um, you need to go with your gut. So if something's not feeling right to you or if someone's telling you to take a class or invest in um, – Maybe it's investing in, continuing to invest in a space that you're renting or um, it could quite literally be anything financial, um, but I feel like it's more related to your business that they're kind of talking about uh, that, again, same with Tish, I feel like you're right on the cusp of like go, 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 and taking off and being big time popular um but you have to trust your instincts right you have to go with that gut and do the things that they're telling you to do even if other people are telling you not to do it i think is a real strong thing for you um that there's people kind of in your ear that are telling you like if you say something about oh i have this new program i want to do or I came up with this idea, well, you know, you were downloaded with this idea or whatever, um, and then you have people in your ear that are kind of like, mm, I don't know, that sounds not cool, or, you know, they're trying to talk you out of it for one reason or another. So, hope that helps. <laughs> All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jade, um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to work with you privately. I will post a link when we're done here um, of how you can, um, all the ways you can work with me. Uh, um, I'm just looking through the comments here real quick, you guys, and then we'll go back. And look, you're welcome, Stephanie. I hope that was helpful for you, dear. All right, you guys, I just, for reference, I can only see like a, so many comments at once. So if you feel like I've missed you or I'm ignoring you or something, um, that may not be the case, but, um, repost your request and uh, I can only scroll back so far so um, and they disappear into the ethers so if I miss you or you feel like you just want to ask again please do don't feel like you're being annoying because sometimes like I said I get lost in the uh, shovel <laughs> okay Let's see. Lori wants to know if she will open her own barber shop in the future. That's cool. That sounds fun. Sounds like a lot of work though. Be ready. Let's see, will Lori open her barber shop in the future? Lori open
Okay, Lori, first, first things first. Um, when I was connecting with your energy, um, uh, I, okay, <laughs> you're too busy. You need to take a deep breath, take it to a pill. Um, you have a lot going on. I, 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 I feel they're making me feel, um, and I'm not passing judgment on anyone, but they're making me feel like ADHD, like real, like just scattered in like crazy, 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 crazy stuff. Like almost like I'm on speed or something. Like they're just, I'm, I'm just everywhere doing all the things. Um, I, <laughs> I feel like you need a vacation chill, chill time. So me time, take a deep breath. Um, yeah. I just feel very scattered and very like, oh my God, frantic energy. Okay. Um, okay. What I'm hearing about your business is you got the strength card. Basically, um, they're not saying yes or no. What they're saying is, um, if that's what you want, yes. If, if not, don't but that you need to really, really sit and be quiet for a little while. Um, be calm, calm your inner voice. And this might be something you need someone to help you do um, to get your chakras in line, get your, just find some chill, find some chill uh, for a little bit. But um, what they're saying, you have, you have the strength, you have the power to, um, to accomplish whatever you want. Um, but that right now you're too scared that you need to get some focus, get some inner peace, calm yourself down, maybe take a vacation. Um, I'm hearing not right now, not right now. It's not a good time. Um, there's an 11 on this card. So I'm feeling like at least a year, 11 months, right? Like almost a year from now. Um, but first you need to get your shit together for lack of better terms, like just, handle your business first and, and chill bring it down a few notches um and then you can revisit the idea it's not that it's a bad idea but it's a bad time to, to worry about that idea you need to work on finding your chill that's uh that's the biggest thing okay i saw lena 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 Business and career, absolutely. I'm willing, Lena. Anytime. I'm hoping to get to one of your uh, singing bowl sessions soon. It's been a while since I made it to any of your stuff, guys. If you ever have a chance to go see Lena, I know her and her mom have something coming up soon. Um, it's Thursday. It's Thursday, huh? So go check out Lena's page. She does some cool singing bowl stuff. Okay, Lana's business. Let's see what they have to say. Okay, <clears throat> so Miss Lena, you have the night of air. Um, okay. So what I'm getting from this guy, first of all, nights work very quickly. Okay, they kind of are like teenagers in a way or young 20s where they get an idea and they're like yeah go 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 um but what did, what happens right sometimes we forget to stop and like apply our brain <laughs> um before we jump in with everything we have um so nights move really fast okay because they're that young like 
let's go get them energy, right? Um, what they're wanting you to do is, like Tish, make a list of all of the downloads and all the ideas that you have. Um, this is great for anyone that owns a business, by the way. Make a list. I'm in the process of doing the same. Um, today they gave me like 10 ideas and I'm like, great, I have like 15 things you want me to do right now. Um, anyway, so make a list and prioritize the list. Um, and make a spreadsheet. Aren't you a spreadsheet girl? Don't you like to do spreadsheets? Um, anyway, I'm just kidding. I'm teasing her because I, I know Lena pretty well, but, um, but yeah, so they're wanting you to just make a list of all your ideas before jumping into anything and um, prioritize the list and then and then start moving. Then start moving. Um, start start doing the things. Tissue too. Start doing the things they said. Um, they're like, it's great to have a list, but you have to start doing the things on the list. And that's for me too. Um, but anyway, so so. Um, night, the air, suit of air is very, that's our intellect, right? Like we're very in our brain. Um, and the night of air, like I said, we're getting these ideas and we want to just go, 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 go. Um, but they're wanting you to just take a pause. Um, not that, that you shouldn't follow your intuition, you should, but also, um, make sure you're checking in though too with, um, with your full intuition, like your full, like, is this a good idea? Um, feel into it, you know, really see, don't let your ego talk you out of it. That's not what I'm saying, but like, um, have the idea, but then like flesh out the idea, I guess is more what I'm saying before you just jump in with, um, don't go like buy a building or something without <laughs> checking in, um, you know, everyone before you do something like that. So, um, again, um, they're wanting you just to, before you jump in and go crazy, um, that's awesome to have that, you know, that drive and that passion, but, um, but just make sure that you're doing things in the order that, uh, that you've been given. Um, us humans like to try and be like, no, I want to do that. Let's do this one. Um, some things, sometimes some things need to come first. So let's do that. Let me just check in up here a little bit, you guys. <clears throat> all right again if you want a reading go ahead career finances or relationships or if anybody's in the mood to have their uh, guardian angel names i can do that as well <laughs> You're welcome, Lena. All right, let me go back and find where I was, you guys. Okay. Okay. Doo, doo, doo. Hold on one sec. Sandy, have I given you your angel names? I thought I had done that before. Okay, I don't remember everything super accurately, so um Especially angel names. I don't I don't remember those guys. So if I've ever given your angel names and you want to ask me again, I don't remember. I'd have to uh, check in again. I do write them down though. Hmm. That is how I channel the angels. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's. Sandy wants her angel names. Who do we have for Sandy?
Okay. Okay, Sandy, you have Brayton, B-R-A-E-T-O-N, Brayton. I had to, that one was unusual, you spelled. So I had to, that's what took a while. Brayton, B-R-A-E-T-O-N, he's a male energy. And then you have Stephanie, spelled like the traditional. Brayton and Stephanie for Sandy. Um, and they're just happy you're here. They don't really, they're not passing on any kind of message or anything for you. So there you go. Let's see. Okay. Let's see, Jen Roland wants her guardian angel names. Are you still here, Jen? Let me know, let me know. Hey, Brooke. <clears throat> Sandy, those were your guardian angel names, your personal guardian angel names that I gave you just now. You can work with any of the archangels anytime you want to. Just ask. Okay, let's see. Just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um <laughs> it keeps jumping around, sorry guys. <laughs> Let's see. I have a lot, a lot of angels in the room right now. So I think we're going to be doing some names here. Jen, are you still here? Did I miss you? Let me know. She is. Okay, cool. Let's get your names for you. Jen, are you the one that um, I met at Prismscapes the other night with James? <clears throat> I don't remember um, names very well, so I'm <laughs> just thinking about you. Jen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on, they're all talking at once. Let me <laughs> let me get them in order. Just a second. Okay, guys, I need you to cooperate. One person at a time. Yep. To boss them around like a teacher, you guys made them all line up. <laughs> line up, and only the people that are here for Jen may talk. Literally, I was hearing like 10 names at the same time. I'm like, whoa, no. <laughs> okay. Let's get Jen's names now that they're organized. Ten years are quiet. I see him standing there, but you know what's happening. Okay, so Sandy, I don't. I if you're still here, I'm sorry, Jen. I'll come right back to you. Brayton is in my face. He 
said he wasn't done. <laughs> Apparently he does have a message for you now. Um, so Sandy, this is for you from Brayton. Okay. Um, he is saying, okay. So he is wanting you to um, work with him if you can, um, any way that you can. So call him in, Brayton specifically. He kept saying his name over and over and over and over and over. Um, so he wants you to um, meditate if you do um, and uh, call him in specifically, maybe during the day, just kind of start having conversations with him. Um, he wants you to um, specifically like address him by his name. Uh, he's asking that you do that and then um, start watching for little signs um, and little uh, ways of them communicating with you. However, that works for you. It's different for everybody right now in your process. So um, that he's going to start communicating with you, like sending you little signs, little symbols. It can be angels. It could be um, the letter B. It could be others it could be kind of literally anything so just watch and if it comes to you when you see something like that uh that hey i think that's from brayden my guardian angel then then it is okay um whenever we have those feelings we need to just go with it and that uh, that's our intuition talking to us okay okay he is done <laughs> so now i can move on to jen jen let's get your angel names my goodness this is becoming your spark okay Yes. Okay. He's leaving now, so I can talk to your angel. Okay. Hmm. Ready. Okay. So only one of your angels is um, stepping forward right now. I think that you have two, but only one is acknowledging me and wants to say her name. Um, she has a B name. That's why it was, I was getting, I was getting all these, B, Brayton kept saying his name, but then I was getting all these other B names and I'm like, whoa, okay, what's happening? <laughs> you have a B name as well. Her name is Brielle, B-R-I-E-L-L-E, -E, Brielle. Um, very feminine, very feminine. Um, she is beautiful. She's very shiny. Um, um, very sort of hyper feminine figure. Okay, if that makes sense. So like when you think of, uh, you know, very Barbie doll, very like curvy and um, um, very shiny. She's very, uh, she reminds me a lot of Uriel. She's very kind of coppery and shiny and like glittery. Um, she's just kind of like, oh, you know, one of those like lit up from behind kind of things. Um, that feels very uh, fancy. We'll go with that word. Um, not in a bad way, but just um, formal and kind of, uh, I keep wanting to say high maintenance, but not like in a bad way. Um, just kind of that uh, sort of the energy she's projecting. Um, but like I said, not in a bad way. She just, um, she's just very shiny, very fancy. Um, Brielle, she just wants, again, for you to, now that you know her name, acknowledge her name, and um, use it, and call on her, and she's wanting me to tell you that um, when you see, like, shiny things, or maybe you're into shiny things, I don't know, but uh, when you see stuff that's, like, shiny and glittery and fancy she wants you to think of her and um, know that that is her stepping in and um talking to you sorry got distracted <laughs> okay i'm gonna turn off my instagram feed you guys it's gonna quit here in a little bit anyway and only let you be live for an hour so um, I'm going to cut Instagram off and thanks for joining us tonight, Instagram people. And to you soon, uh, Facebook, I'm going to see you for just a little bit longer. Okay. Turn that off so my phone doesn't die. 
Couldn't use as much battery as I thought it would. Okay, you guys. Um, let's see. Jen, that was you from the other night. Sweet. Right on. You're into shiny things. Me too, girl. Me too. All right. Sandy, you're welcome. Okay. Let me go back. Davina, your man. I told you where your man was. Um, he's waiting for you. He's waiting for you to start doing your um, touring. Remember? Remember you're going to meet him on the road? So he's waiting. Go get him. Go get him. He's a handsome one. I'm excited to meet him. So would you hurry up with that? <laughs> Love you, Davina. All right. Rochelle, your brain's in the clouds. Yeah, I've been feeling super ungrounded lately too, you guys. I, well, I need, to, need to like find my chill, right? All right. So that's kind of all I have time for you guys. Um, I see the clock already. How did that happen? Um, okay. So tour to Hawaii? Hell yes, Rochelle. We already told you we're coming to Hawaii. We're going to, weren't we going to do like some kind of big spiritual retreat? Um, who said that, Lena? Or having like a, a meeting, a spiritual person meeting in Hawaii? Oh yeah, I'm down. Let's do this. Um, I am actually going to start setting up some touring stuff, you guys. So keep that in mind. That's one of my things on my list that um, was downloaded. So we are going to start taking the show on the road. Um, so if you want to start, um, if you want to, are interested in having me come um, and possibly Davina, I'm sure we can talk her into it. Um, to do like a live meetings event type thing, um, contact me. We are in the process um, of starting to book those out and start start doing those. So um, I don't, Davina doesn't know about this yet because it was a download from today, but um, I personally am gonna start booking tours um, going around to, um, I will have somebody kind of host it. I guess I'll just talk about this now. I, um, will have somebody sort of in charge of it, sort of being the, the host from the home place. Um, and then, um, they're going to help me sort of get everything settled on the ground, um, so to speak, and get the details looked up. So, um, so, if you're interested, definitely send me a private message um, and we can start working on details. But yes, we're going on the road, you guys. We're taking this, this shit global. Um, Sandy, come back to Kansas. We will. Um, I mean, we have family there, so of course we're going to come back. Um, but if you're interested, we can maybe set up a little angel party while, you, while we're back. Um, yeah, there's a few requirements, of course. If I'm going to travel, it's going to be worth the trip. You know what I'm saying? So, so, yeah, let me know if you want details on that. Um, I am done for the night. Um, if I missed you, don't take offense to it. I go where spirit guides me to go. Um, I sort of go in order, but not necessarily. Um, literally, just spirit tells me which ones I need to uh, pull and which ones. Kind of guides my eyes to the ones that I need to see. Um, and yeah, so I will post the link to uh, how you can work with me currently. Um, I put everything on one page now, so it's not like a bunch of pages that you have to click through. Um, so it's easier. <laughs> um, feel free to book a private reading if you want one. If I missed you tonight, you can do that. There are uh, specifically just you can book just to get your angel names if that's something that you're interested in there is that um, yeah 
So I guess that's it, you guys. Thanks for hanging out, talking about Archangel Shamuel. He's the finding angel. Remember that? He's pale green. So if you see green orbs or green flashes of light, you can know that Shamuel is around. Um, he helps us find things. So if you missed the talk about Shamuel and kind of the details about him, it's at the beginning. Replay will be here. Um, so good to see everybody. Thank you for joining me on Tuesday since I missed our regular Monday, but I will be back on Monday next week. Um, yeah, it was really fun. I had a good time hanging out with you guys. All right. I will talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.